Good morning everyone and thank you for joining me once again on my channel. Today is February the 5th of 2021. Today I'd like to um, talk a little more about the Kingdom of God and um, what that is and also about the church that the Lord is building in this day. The kingdom of God, as we mentioned the other day, is a kingdom that Jesus came to issue into the earth when he walked on the earth. He taught the disciples and the people about the kingdom, what it would look like, and what they could expect. Um, so he came to usher it into the earth. So we know God is at work. He's building his kingdom, he says, and he's building his church. The second thing I'd like to talk about is not just the kingdom of God in the earth, but Jesus' actual return to the earth. And this is a subject I think a lot of us are thinking about recently more than we have in our lifetimes because of the circumstances we see taking place in our world today and how it parallels with the scriptures that speak of the things that need to take place before Jesus' return to the earth. And I think it's important that we grasp the concept of Jesus' return because even when Jesus talked to his disciples and taught them about his coming again, he warned them to be watching and waiting and that it would come like a thief in the night. So if they weren't prepared, it would catch them off guard. And it's thousands of years later, and yet the message is the same, that if we aren't watching and waiting, then we will not be able to understand the time of his coming. So I have a couple of scriptures I'd like to read just to give us more of an understanding of what it would look like when Jesus comes. And there are different thoughts on this. Um, when is the rapture coming? And does that come before um, the tribulation or after or during the tribulation? And uh, I think these are questions we need to ponder and consider and be um, making ourselves prepared because I believe the, the time is soon. How soon? No one knows the date or the hour. But I think we are seeing the signs of his coming. So I'd like to read these words. One is from Matthew 16, 26 to 28. What good will it be for someone to gain the whole world, yet forfeit their soul? Or what can anyone give in exchange for their soul? For the Son of Man is going to come in his Father's glory with his angels, and then he will reward each person according to what they have done. Truly, I tell you, some who are standing here will not taste death before they see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. And I have to say with that second verse, it is um, difficult to understand what Jesus meant there especially if we're thinking about Jesus' return at the end of the age as opposed to him ushering in his kingdom and how he is in his kingdom. He is the ruler of his kingdom and therefore they will see him in his kingdom on earth. A second scripture is Matthew 24, 43 to 47. But understand this, if the owner of the house had known at what time of night the thief was coming, he would have kept watch and would not have let his house be broken into. 
so you also must be ready, because the Son of Man will come at an hour when you do not expect him. Who then is the faithful and wise servant whom the master has put in charge of the servants in his household to give them their food at the proper time? It will be good for that servant whose master finds him doing so when he returns. Truly, I tell you, he will put him in charge of all of his possessions. So this, spe this scripture speaks of a time of a master coming, and when Jesus spoke in his parables, he likened himself to a master and also to return as the master who comes to give rewards for the work that they have done while he's been absent. Mark 13, verse 26 to 27. At that time people will see the Son of Man coming in clouds with great power and glory, and he will send his angels and gather his elect from the four winds, from the ends of the earth to the ends of the heavens. So Jesus is coming where everyone will see him coming in clouds of glory and power. So this is something we are all looking forward to. I just wanted to share um, this concept once again of the kingdom of heaven and also Jesus's actual physical return to the earth once again in preparation for the word just to give um, a bit of an understanding and a, a background as to some of the things he is saying in this word. Um, this word is titled, Do Not Be Swayed by the Things You See. This is the day and this is the hour, says the Lord, when all looks hopeless, when those things that you put your trust in shall come crashing down around you. But take heart, my people, for what you are seeing in the natural is not a true picture of what is happening in the spiritual. A deep work has been taking place within you. You have been in a stage of transition. You have been undergoing change in the deepest parts of your being. You have been changing from the inside to out. The chaos you see in the natural does not reflect what has been going on inside. Everything is falling apart in the natural, but in the spiritual you are being honed into a stone of great worth. Your faith is being perfected and you are being strengthened in the inner man. Falsehood which had been planted within you has been uprooted and pulled out. And those things not of the Lord that you had been leaning on have been plucked away. Do not be discouraged. Do not fear. For everything is in my hands, says the Lord, and the building is going up according to plan. Times are in my hands, and my plan is coming into fulfillment on schedule. I hold the universe together and keep the heavenly bodies in order. Am I not able to uphold your life, give you hope, and fulfill my heart's desire to form a people after my own heart, a remnant who will be my people and I will be their God? As it was in the beginning, so it shall be in the end. All things are being consummated in the Son, for he was sent that the people might be reconciled back to God, and everything that was stolen through the sin of man, might be restored back through the Son of God. The end of the world, as it has been known, is at hand. When the bridegroom comes, the old will be gone, and the new will replace it. The kingdom of God shall prevail, and the Lord of heaven and earth shall sit on his throne and reign over the people's. The time is short, for the day is almost here for the Son of Man to descend in all his glory. Do not be downcast, but look up, for your redemption is drawing near. Take your eyes off the destruction all around you. Know that this is the striking down of nations.
this is the inheritance of the saints, to rise up out of their slumber, out of the grave, and take position on the throne with the Son to rule the nations. He shall rule with an iron scepter to crush the kingdoms of this world. Do not be swayed by what you see, for truly this is the day of your redemption, and the redeemed of the Lord shall stream into Zion, singing and dancing and praising God. Do not be disheartened, but rejoice, for your king is coming, and the way is being prepared for his reign. The hearts of people are being stirred up. The nations are trembling, for the Spirit of the Lord is shaking away the kingdoms in the hearts of men. Those things that demand their loyalty and the throne of the heart is being prepared for the King of kings and Lord of lords to take his rightful place. Every idol in the hearts of men is being trampled underfoot, for the army of the Lord has gone out over the land. Everything that needs to be removed is being trampled under horses' hooves. The horses and their riders have been released into the earth in this day, says the Lord, to accomplish my will, to bring destruction upon the earth to every man-made kingdom, and to trample underfoot the sons of disobedience. This is the year of the favor of the Lord and the day of the vengeance of God. Everyone who calls upon the name of the Lord in these times of tribulation shall be saved. But the wicked, the vile, shall be trampled underfoot as grapes in the winepress are crushed. For the wrath of God is being released into the earth, and the righteous judgment of God is going forth. This is the day, and this is the hour. Look up, for the Son of Man will come at a time you do not expect. And unless you are watching for him, you will be caught off guard. Put your trust in him and long for his coming. For the Spirit and the Bride say, Come, and he is coming. So, as I mentioned, it is important to have a concept of Jesus' coming, his return. And um, I just want to encourage you that we may not want to think that far ahead, but on the other hand, it is a good idea to keep it in um, perspective here that this is where we're going. This is where the Lord is taking us. He's preparing his church, his bride for his return. So I hope this um, gives you something to think about on this day. And may the Lord bless you and encourage you to keep your eyes on him. Thank you for listening and bye for now.